Hello, um, I'm June and I've lived in uh, the Pendleton area of Salford for 67 years. I do photography groups, I joined an art class um, and I love spending time in the community. I've found that joining the groups um, and enjoying uh, the groups, um, it's opened up a whole new life really. The reason I'm doing the sign language class is because I was born deaf in my left ear. People were very good with me, but I realised as I got older, I needed to learn sign language so when I get really old, I can communicate with people. And they love it. They absolutely love doing it because some of them are also deaf as well. I look forward to every week and sh teaching them something different. It's, it's good. I don't want to sit at home and mope. I, I feel that it's a, it's a good thing for my health to get out and just to come and chat to people in the hut even. We've planted, we've cut, we've pruned, <laughs> we've repaired. It's just, it's just so lovely to have all this green within 10 minutes of, of my house. When we stay in place, we feel more independent and um, we feel that we have a better quality of life if we stay in place. And also, we feel better connected. Yeah, Elaine mentioned connection and that's really important. You know, people want to feel valued and a part of something. And um, if you're in a place that you feel a part of, then you've also got the benefit of um, looking to the future in a way and uh, talking about how to make that place better so that the whole of society improves in a way. Listen to all the people because they've lived it. I run the Brinnington Community Art Group and we do it as a wellbeing group to get people coming in and who are isolated, do need a place to unwind and the space for relaxation and made feel welcome. I've lived here for about 11 years since my wife passed away. Uh, I can lock myself away in my flat if I want privacy or I can go and join my fellow residents in the lounge. It's kept me in, 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 in touch with other people. Where I lived previously, it was a bit, a bit isolated. I was out on a limb and I didn't want to become too isolated, you know. Gorton Central means a lot to me. Um, it's got me through COVID, it's introduced me to different people and it's got me out myself. If it hadn't been for here, I really don't think I would be here at all. The craft group is absolutely amazing. We talk about anything and everything and we laugh with each other, not at each other, which is good. So Limelight is um, well, four stories high with uh, older people's accommodation on top, a health centre, a library, a cafe and a place to, to visit and meet friends. Just a real sociable time really. It saves me being in an office by myself or at home by myself. And, and so there's always uh, an atmosphere, uh, an environment which is just welcoming and pleasing and so people just smile. I'm a volunteer for the pantry and I also do cooking sessions. It's lovely to live on Small Bridge. Um, the community is good, the spirit's good and uh, they all seem to join in as well. It's great in Small Bridge. The people make the essay. Every week on a Wednesday afternoon we come to St Jude's social club we come in we have a cup of tea and biscuits sandwiches um, have a natter with people even though you don't know who they are you know their faces because you see them around the community you are always made to feel welcome and people feel comfortable 
Something, something that I, I thought of when I was asked to do this is about how wonderful Manchester is as a place and something that encapsulates it is the famous poem by Tony Walsh and they left us a spirit, they left us a vibe, that Mancunian way to survive and to thrive and to work and to build, to connect and create and greater Manchester's greatness is keeping it great.